From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. And good afternoon on this Friday. Thanks for joining us on the new news. I'm Andrea Lutz. We start this afternoon with an update on COVID vaccines. President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris will visit the CDC headquarters in Georgia today. This, as Biden says, today his administration will reach its goal of giving 100 million COVID vaccines in its first 100 days. That's some six weeks ahead of schedule. But the victory is tempered as more than a dozen states have seen recent surges in new COVID cases. In Yellowstone County, there's additional doses ready for a clinic, and it's going to happen next week. Health officials will give out 2,300 first doses to those in a first eligible groups. The appointments will take place at Metro Parks Cedar Hall. They'll happen Wednesday through Friday. In Gallatin County, lawmakers are trying to advocate for more vaccines as access issues continue. Bozeman State Senator J.P. Pomalski reached out to the governor asking for additional doses. The state is receiving 20,000 a week and that number is expected to rise. Counties get a percentage based on their population. In Missoula, the health department is opting to try a new system for lifting COVID-19 restrictions. MTN's Megan Mannering explains how this new metric system will work. Now that vaccines are rolling in from state and federal shipments, Missoula County health officials have new factors that they have to consider when looking at our restrictions. Before, we were only focused on how many cases our county had, but now we'll look at how many individuals have been vaccinated. By last Monday, 444 people per 1,000 people received one dose of a vaccine. Our goal is to reach 600 individuals per 1,000 people. Believe it or not, when looking at this metric, we are already 74% of the way there. And what happens when we reach this goal? Events and gatherings will be the first to experience lifted restrictions. Masks will still be required at these events, but most everything else, capacity, submitting a formal plan, thorough sanitation, all of those mitigation efforts will simply be recommendations by the health department. We're not out of the woods yet, but health officer Ellen Leahy says Missoula County is leading the way for the rest of the state. What people did worked. If we can hang on to it for another six weeks to two months, we are really, really going to pull out. So that's very good. Leahy will be evaluating this new vaccination metric every Tuesday and we'll update you as we learn more information. In Missoula, Megan Mannering, MTN News. Okay, thanks, Megan. Let's turn to sports now and March Madness. So to celebrate re the return of college basketball's biggest tournament of the season, of course, we're taking you to Las Vegas right here is Fremont Street. This is the world's largest tournament bracket. You can see it in downtown Las Vegas. It's a six block entertainment district of Fremont Street. It's keeping fans updated with those special larger than life visuals running every 15 minutes, filling in those little brackets. My goodness, again, the world's largest single video screen. So all you have to do, Miller, is just look up and see if your team is winning. Yeah, there I guess go. so. Do you have a team? Are you a big basketball fan? I we mean, talked about this. I'm not, I'm not the biggest, but I, I like I March Madness because I always like to see those Cinderella teams make a run for the finals. You totally, know? and I was telling you that I love the mascots, like the <laughs> Golden Retrievers a few years ago. Who didn't love that team? Do, does, do we have a mascot? We may have to work on that. We might have to. Yeah, the weather guy, the crazy one. Yeah, yeah. You know, just, just put me out there as is. Like All right, it. are you ready for spring? Spring-like weather we've had over the last couple of days. Let me explain what's going on. The spring or vernal equinox, what happens is uh, we start to get, at least for tomorrow, equal daylight and uh, nighttime, uh, the, the darkness. Now, actually here in Montana, we, we actually got our equal time of day and night back on St. Patrick's Day. Tomorrow when spring does kick in, we're actually going to get about 12 hours and 10 minutes of daylight. It kicks off tomorrow morning at uh, 337 AM. What's happening is the northern hemisphere is now starting to lean or tilt toward the sun. That means more sunshine, more daylight hours to get out there and enjoy yourself. And it's it's been wonderful weather so far. Unfortunately, Andrea, 
our first day of spring. Weather-wise, not looking too, yeah, <clears throat> not looking Darn too it. good. I got to spoil the fun. We'll, we'll talk about that coming up. All right, Miller, thanks so much. Yes, we yes. want to show you this now. Dramatic body cam video in Utah showing officers rescuing a fleeing DUI suspect. Well, take a look at this. This man is trapped in the wreckage of a burning vehicle. That car crashed some 25 feet off of a bridge. Officers, you can see on the body cam, pulling him out, trying to unjar that door open. They eventually get him out, pull him to safety. This as he was shouting to officers, I'm on fire. That's incredible video. Your natural gas bill is going to be going up. Yeah, Northwestern Energy says it's increasing rates. MTN's Caitlin Agulis found out why and how much it is going to be going up. In February, negative temperatures stretched across Montana and the Midwest, causing Northwestern Energy to make additional natural gas purchases to keep up with customer demand. After Montana's very, very cold temperature, right after that, there was actually a heating emergency in much of the Midwest, and natural gas prices um, were at unprecedented highs. For the next four months, this high demand in natural gas use will be reflected on customers' bills. In customers' March bill, there will be a $10 increase. The April bill will see an additional $10 increase on top of the March increase. And in May, there will be a small increase, which is unknown at this time, but let's say it's $5. So in March, the average Montana natural gas customer's bill will be about $87.45. Out of the $10 increase, the average becomes $97.45. In April, customers will pay around $107.45. In May, customers will pay around $112.45. And that's just the increase on the average number. It also depends on what appliances use natural gas and how many people are in the household using it because everybody's energy use is different. Black said that natural gas rates should return to normal by July. If customers need help paying their bills, Northwestern Energy offers programs to help. We have um, budget billing, which uh, evens out the amount that you pay every month, which is a nice way to uh, fit that into your household budget. And there are some other options to um, and so we really encourage people to reach out to us. In Butte, Caitlin Aguilas, MTN News. A pair of controversial bills surrounding transgender athletes are advancing to the Montana Senate. In the Senate Judiciary Committee, Republicans voted in favor of the measure, saying student athletes must participate on teams based on their sex at birth. Democrats blasting the bill, saying it makes Montana appear an unwelcome state. That second bill would ban a gender transition for anyone under the age of 18. As we do head into the first round of basketball, and it fires up here today on CBS, MTN Scott Breen draws up a quick lesson on some of the mascots that we were just talking about, Miller and I were, to look out for this year. Hey everybody, welcome to the madness, and along with it, stories behind some of the more unusual school mascots. Let's start with my own Oklahoma Sooners. Any idea what a Sooner is? Well, back in the land rush days, everybody was supposed to race for their piece of land at the start of a pistol. Sooners jumped the gun, left sooner than everyone else. The Sooner Schooner here is OU's official mascot. By the way, guess who was part of these yahoos back in his college days? This is Sparty, in charge of Michigan State. He's seven feet tall, and the costume is said to weigh 30 pounds. Gonzaga is the overall number one seed, the only undefeated team left in this tournament, led by Spike the Bulldog. First time the school had a human mascot was 1980, when a student wore a cape and called himself Captain Zag. Ralphie the Buffalo is Colorado's live mascot. Let's hope they don't unleash him indoors. Yukon's men and women are dancing. Jonathan the Husky is named after a former state governor. Circa 90 years ago, the campus newspaper survey decided on the Husky dog as a mascot. The Wichita State Shockers, named just after 1900, when football players earned money harvesting or shocking wheat. What is a Purdue Boilermaker? Well, it's a vehicle outfitted to look like a Victorian area steam engine locomotive. This is Purdue Pete dreamt up by the bookstore back in 1940 to promote business. It's said that Pete's head once flew out the back of the Boilermaker special and was never found. 
This is the Iona Gale, a spunky character that personifies strength, according to the school website. Sort of looks more like Abe Lincoln's creepy twin brother. Michigan is one of the tournament favorites, but doesn't actually have a live or costumed mascot. The story is two lived Wolverines named Benny and Biff served as mascots during the 1920 football season, but turned out to be too dangerous. And how about the Grand Canyon Antelopes down in Phoenix? Only university with lopes is the nickname. The pronghorn antelope is in fact native to the Arizona Strip, and it's said to be the second fastest land mammal in the world. One athletic department source admits, though, that Grand Canyon was almost nicknamed the Donkeys. Ah, what could have been. Scott Breen, MTN Sports. All right, thanks, Scott. We do have more news ahead today on the new news, including how Montana is celebrating those women leaders in our state. We continue to recognize National Women's Month. But first, Miller's back in with a look at that statewide weather forecast.